Robin stated the following, practice using the ghost ball. Again, this is pretty much right. So previous lesson, we covered all the fundamentals. So really what comes naturally after is the aiming. And honestly, the ghost ball is a pretty good method, especially on smaller tables such as this, which is a seven foot table. So what is the ghost ball method? Well, we're gonna have the eight ball here and the cue ball there. So pretty simple shot, just trying to make the eight in the corner. And I'm gonna grab the seven ball. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the center of my pocket here into the center of the eight ball, into the center of the seven. Here we go. So as you can see, that makes a perfect straight line. And what happens is basically my seven is actually my ghost ball. So the idea of the ghost ball is for the cue ball to replace the seven in order to make the eight, right? So technically if I replaced my cue ball right there, so it's gonna shoot like this, I'm gonna replace the seven, then I know I'm gonna make the eight ball, right? Now obviously this shot is pretty easy, straight up. But what happens if you go like here, right? Well, same concept, so now, you know, I'm gonna have my cue ball here into my eight ball, but that's a much harder shot. Again, all I gotta do is go here, center my cue, center pocket, center of the eight, center of the seven, and then this time I'm gonna go this way, line it up, and here you go. That would be the perfect aiming spot. So that's a good method, it works really well, especially if you have a friend, so if you have one of your teammates with you, what you can do when you start is set the ball like this, then get in position, try to replace the seven, and in the last minutes, one of your friends just take this ball away, and then you shoot, and you're gonna see that this ball is going to go pretty much every time. Again, this works on an easy shot, also works on a very difficult shot. This is pretty much the ghost ball method.